Hi, there's a lot of drawing in this one. I've penciled it out. It's just a design, just a, one of these uh, Thames barges that were prolific in the 19th century. Now they're, they, they're more leisure craft, but it's lovely that there's so many of them are preserved. The lovely sailing, very heavy sailing barges that went round the coast of East Anglia along the rivers of, of Essex and Norfolk and I've put in just a few buildings here but I, I, I think I've put the, the boat too low down I can't be bothered to change it so I'll, I'm just going to throw the houses back a little bit I'm on a bit of a hill so we've got some black acrylic paint it doesn't matter what you use what acrylic I've got loads of different I've got Galleria I've got Artist Loft um, acrylic of gal uh, more Galleria. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Pe people ask me what I'm using, what type. It doesn't really matter. It's just acrylic paint. The binder of acrylic is PVA glue, really, and that's why I, I, I when I'm painting with acrylic, I use a PVA glue, a woodwork glue, diluted. So the paper is Fabriano. It's going to be a wet in wet, but I want to just ink the drawing out first, or using the paint. It's not ink, paint. And I was also asked what, what readers I use. Well, I just use what's at hand, really. I've got large ones and small ones. The one I haven't got is a number three, which I'm going to treat myself to a couple of ne next week. I've just got old, worn-out brushes that do the job, really. Flats, all sorts. So I I'm going to use this little worn-out brush here, dilute a bit of paint, put these buildings in. I don't want them too solid because they're further back than the boat. So just, just give you some encouragement, let's get them in. Sort of silhouette really. Bit of... It's really like painting with watercolour when you dilute it that, to that extent. Just a silhouette really. I don't want it to be a portrait. It's the boat that I'm interested in more than anything else. You have to work fairly quick because the acrylic dries into the paper quite quickly. Oh, that's just all we need really. I might have to go over a bit of bit of a tint of sienna, burnt sienna. Okay, so there's the that's the uh, they're the buildings. Right, now we're going to have a go at this boat. Uh, now I'm going to use the rigger for that. Let's see, it's a number, I don't know what number two, number two. It's worn off. But whatever works, you don't want to make a uh, rod for your back. So this is going to be a bit tricky. So let's just... Let's just put in some harder stuff on that. Right, that's the masting. Now, these... Uh, I'm not, as you know, I'm not a boat person. I'm not living near boats, but there are some things that, that I love. And a great painter of these was Roland Hilda. Have a look at his stuff. I was just leave a bit of white on there. Just guess I I'm going to leave some uh, scope for putting some burnt, the old burnt umber in there. That'll do. We've got some uh, some sandy stuff here. I 
or the hood mast that drags up the other sails. I have been on one of these. Lovely experience on, on the river Orwell in Suffolk. We had a, a day out, my brother in law's 70th birthday some years ago. And we had a lovely, lovely day. We did do some, did go under sail, but mostly the diesel, diesel engines. So we just, there's some dry box on there. These lovely sails. Leave some scope for some paint. Very sketchy. Okay, something like that. Let's put some stuff on there, just... Sorry if I'm masking you, but I can't really help that. Okay, that, that'll do, that'll do. Okay, this, that, that's a sort of... Uh, sort of boat. Ah, oh, okay. Just show some reflections of this boat in the the board, the slack board to that. Right, now we're going to do some, put the landscape in. Uh, if I do the background very dilute, then I can do that all too, too thick. When we go in with the paint, you really need to make sure it's, this is all dry, otherwise it will run. Sort of painting there really. Just trying to show the distance there. And then we'll just go over with some stuff here. I might have to um, make those roofs just a little bit heavier. Was it darker than the background? Of course. This, uh... Okay, that 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 that'll do. Now we're going to do some uh, some of this. We we'll do some grasses. Let's 
some pushes. with that. Okay. That brush is not doing me any good now. So I'll clean it up and go give me the ordinary my ordinary rigor. Because I can get much more spontaneous looks with this. Right, there's just some trees at the back there. Uh, and we'll come in with the, the grasses here. Might be overcomplicating this, but I hey, was having fun on Saturday, Saturday morning. This is where the uh, the drawing gets interesting when when you contrast this black with the with the white paper, and the, the, then you can really cut loose and do some some twigs and flotsam, bits of wood, sea seaweed. Then we've got some nice vegetation on the on the beach here as you come into the land more into the land. Just no, I'm not paying any attention to what I'm doing, I'm just flicking the brush around. Don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. No. Just flashing around. Right, so we've got a sort of toy. I, I think um my boat is probably just a little bit too large and just too close, but I, I want to get, get that base here. I've got a bit heavy there on the bottom of that. Right, well, let's see what that, that's going to look like when we've... Uh, So that's, that's a bit of water going through here. I'll give the brushes a nice clean, then I'll... Uh, get into the painting. Now I'm going to... Uh, I've got to have a swig of tea, and then I'll dry this off. I'm just going to use... I think um, some of the earth colours, the siennas and, and the Payne's grey or black, whatever's there. I've got, I, I keep these paints, these palettes, in Ziploc bags. The colours are Winter and Newton, Cold.
Scotsman watercolour. I'm going to give you a close up of that. Uh, 21 mil tubes. They're they're very uh, they're very expensive. Uh, I'll just give them a bit of a spray because they, they haven't been used for a while. So, burnt sienna. Uh, bit of uh, raw sienna, I think, on there. And then I'll just show you my. I'm going to use the hake, but I want you to have a just have a little look at the uh, spring around a bit. So there's our boat. It's not a particularly good boat, but we'll try to get some paint on it. It'll be all right. So there's my little beach. A bit of water coming through there. So this I'm going to paint when I do the sky. Oops. So there we are, there's some he hedges and bushes and some distant trees there, silhouetted buildings. If you want to look closer at that, see what I've done. Oh, whoops. Come down to here. See, so you, can, you can see what, what sort of marks I've made. So it's a bit jerky, but let's see the tripod that I've got. Oh, I could go back to those buildings again. So anyway, that's, that's all you need, really. So we've done half the painting with, with the black, black paint. So I'm just going to dry this off, so take your headphones off. So we've got this tray. Now you can get these thanks to one of my subscribers who who uh, suggested, well, told me where he got this from. It's uh, www.kabi or kb k a b i dot co dot uk. They're very inexpensive, cheaper than I paid a year or two ago for them. Uh, Right, okay, hake, any old hake, well, any old two inch hake. I've got three of these, all in various states of being used. One that splits rather badly in clumps. That one looks alright, try that one. So I'm going to wet the paper. So by the time I put the paint on, it's going to cut. The contrast down a bit, well, quite a bit. I'll just let that soak a little bit while I have some more tea. See, there's absolutely no skill used in doing these these houses. They're just a show. This this boat is. Uh, is nearer to us than the houses. It just happened to be like that. And he's, he's on the he's on the uh, sandbag there. Oh, sandbag on the sand dune, sand bar. Right. Okay. Let's get a bit of the sky. So, burnt sienna, and bit, well, we'll use a bit of raw sienna as well. So let's just let's get that in, and we'll we put in the sky. Just put in the in the water and we'll go in with a bit of burnt sienna. It's a bit tainted with the black. And now we've got a bit of black in there and the burnt sienna. Oh, this is the brush that spits. But you can get the hairs together by dipping the tips in water. Uh, not perfect, as you can see it's clumping. These brushes do vary in quality, I have to say.
dry quite quickly. And we'll get that in there. Right, that, that'll do. So I need to do the uh, the sand. So I'm going to put a little bit of a black watercolour on on this. I need to spice it with some burnt sienna. Yeah. Raw, raw sienna. Yeah. Well, that's wet. Some shadow in there, just some. Right, okay, so let's go in with a smaller brush now just to put some colour on those houses. So I'll use, I've got a, uh, I've got this number six, so it's a Sintet. It's a, I don't think it's a table, table mix, I think it's a, a genuine nylon synthetic. But it's okay, the, there's no problem with the synthetic brushes, with the small, especially the small ones. So let's just get a bit of colour in. A bit of colour on, on the roof. Don't know if that's a good idea or not. And a bit of a lighter colour, lighter red, because that's what sienna burnt sienna is. It's a, it's a light, a, a dark red, beautiful colour. Now look a bit of darker in there. Jimmy's on there. Right, something like that. That'll, that'll, that'll do. Now we, we've got to concentrate on these. These sails now, so the burnt sienna, bit of yellow, raw sienna. Make sure when you rest on the paper, you haven't got anything on your the knuckle joints of your little finger. Just re clip. No, let's just get this in here. Dark. I've got some, some of my finger on there.
And then we put this flag up here. Okay. There's a dry brush on there, dry brush on there. <coughs> uh -huh. I need to make that, uh, that water more watery, so I'll put some twigs sticking out of the sand here, reflected. That just just helps to establish a, a reflection. A reflection says that it's wet. Okay. Do the same on the other side. I think. No, no, we we'll leave that. <coughs> Not a lot I really want to do to that now. Just uh, put some twigs on, some trunks on these trees here. Get some red on there. Just warm it up a little bit. Okay, so I um, don't really want to put anything on, on, on that. We've got enough in that picture. I'm not even sure if it's a really good design. But anyway, that's what it is. An exercise in, in drawing with paint. And colouring in. So let's just... Just add some some glasses on. Some of that, just to show some marum grass, marum, marum. Okay, well let's put that in now. We'll have a, we'll have a butchers. Butchers is rhyming slang for butchers hook, butchers hook. Look, have a look, have a butchers. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. No, not too bad. Let's just pin it close, flat to the paper. Well, there we are. This is probably a bit too too far forward, but uh, I don't know. By making the houses a bit bigger than I anticipated, it, it gives a better scale. I've got my man on there, but I uh, don't think he's very good. I could always put a little figure on here, just just looking. So let's uh, put one on.
Yeah, but he's right, isn't he? Okay, let's uh, bring you in and have a closer look at that. Go to the houses first, or the build buildings. They're just shapes on the landscape, really. They're not very good, but they're not too bad. The, the distance, I've left deliberately distant. I haven't gone over that at all. I, I wanted that to stretch back into, into, the, into the Suffolk Hills. Well, my version of it. So there's my boat. Very sketchy, but that's all I wanted. I didn't want any portraits of boats. I'm not familiar with, with them really, other than I've seen them and I've been on one. One came up the Thames last year and Tower Bridge opened, let it through its lovely, fabulous side. I've got some photographs somewhere. So there we are. Let's just get that central. Right, well, thanks for watching. Um, we can put a couple of birds in, I think, while you're watching. Over the little smudges that I've got on it. I think he's got some fish on board. Okay, right, bye for now.